when you put enough compute and data into these systems, in order to actually solve this task of predicting the next token, you need to develop an internal representation of how the world functions, right? You need to like simulate things. The models will make lots of mistakes right now at like low compute scales, but as you continue pushing it from three to four to five, you just see these internal world models get more and more robust. And it's really analogous for video, right? And in many ways more explicit. So I think it's easier to picture what like a world model or a world simulator looks like with video data, right? Because it is literally representing like the raw observational bits of all of reality. But what's really remarkable, right, is because these space-time patches are just this like very simple and highly reusable representation that can apply to any type of data, right? Whether it's just like video footage of a set, whether it's like anime, cartoons, whatever it is, you're just able to build one neural network that can operate on this vast, extremely diverse set of data and really build these like incredibly powerful representations that model very generalizable properties of the world. It's useful to have a world simulator to predict how a cartoon will unfold. And likewise, it's useful for predicting how you know this conversation might unfold. And so that really puts a lot of optimization pressure on Sora to rock these core fundamental concepts in a very data efficient way.